go to West Africa in Bobo Diaoloso, Burkina Faso's second largest city that was once the hub of a renowned cinema culture. However, today it does not have a single active movie theater. Its cinema hall is now privately owned and is locked to the public. Film director Drissa Toure, once one of the city's most prominent filmmakers, he hopes to bring the magic of the movies back to his hometown as a jury member of the first film festival organized in town. Here is more from Reuters. Rust has almost erased the white painted letters spelling program on a sign outside the sand colored building that was once the only cinema in Burkina Faso's southwestern city of Bobo de Auloso. Film producer Drissa Toure peers nostalgically through locked glass doors, reminiscing a time when residents of the country's cultural capital could enjoy films from across the continent and beyond. I competed for the Camera de O. My film was first selected at Fespaco in 1994, and in 95 it brought me to the Cannes Festival. The later I came here, and I showed it to my mother. I had already sent my mother to Mecca, so that she would feel the strength, the happiness that this letter brought me. I said, Mom, this is like the Mecca of cinema. I am going to the Mecca of cinema in France. And there it was, the joy. A spiraling insurgency in Burkina Faso's north has forced the government to increase security spending, diverting funds from its arts and culture budget in the process. Heartbroken but not discouraged, two rejudged a week-long film festival at the start of this month that showcased a selection of African productions in a bid to revive local interest in the art. Burkina Faso has clout in the continent's film industry, with several feature productions landing international awards over past decades. The West African country hosts the renowned Pan-African Film Festival, FESPACO, in its capital Ouagadougou every two years, but the new festival is a first for residents in Bobo Diaolasso. Burkina Bay film producer Omar Dangun attended the festival's first day. In the history of Bukinabe cinema, you will see that many great names have come from Bobo Dialoso. But there has never in return been this kind of festival to bring people together. It's true that there have been meetings, but a festival like this represents a moment of exchange, sharing, learning from elders, and passing on to the new generation too.